T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T-Man 978. Look who showed up at my door. Transformers, Generations, Combiner Wars, Ultra Magnus. Here's his side art. It's him and Minimus. I don't know how he's working if Minimus is right there and he's supposed to be controlling him if you've been reading the comics, but there you go with that. Here is the back box art. Minimus, three steps. Ultra Magnus, 25 steps. And the bio. The legend of Ultra Magnus is exceeded only by the legend of Optimus Prime. When Ultra Magnus was lost, the forces of justice would not let a warrior of his caliber fall. Minimus Ambus, using the power of his rare low bearer spark, enables Ultra Magnus to fight on. Dramatic! The box is heavy. So far so good. He looks awesome in the box. And I peeked in there and woo! MGO's review had me scared to death that I wouldn't get all my parts in there. And anyway, let me get them out of that box. Inside, we get a nice collector's card. I didn't even know we got this. But anywho, we see Ultra Magnus as he looks in toy form. In this toy form, and Minimus down there. Sporting a lot more posability than the actual toy has. But anywho, not to mention paint. Let's get to Minimus. We see Minimus Painus, I mean Minimus Ambus here. And he's a little piece of plastic. I guess he's about minicon height. He has articulation and elbow, well, not elbows, shoulders. Since elbows don't start there, they start up here at the shoulder, <laughs> to me. His hips can go up about that much, can kick forward that much, and he bends more than 90 degrees for some stiff arm jumping poses. And his head does not rotate at all. There's his face. Kind of looks like the freaking Burger King. And there you go. But that's not supposed to be a smile. That's supposed to be his mustache. To transform him, a little bit difficult because this back piece is stiff. Accordion that out and lift it over his head. Go ahead and fold these arms up and put, put the arms there. And now he's a little Cybertronian vehicle. Kind of reminds me of Wheeljack in the first episode of Transformers Generation 1. They put little vents there to, to mask his knee joints anyway. And he's rather open there. You can see his head. No wheels. So... I guess he's supposed to be a little hover car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's enough of him. And here's Ultra Magnus himself. And I'm rather impressed. He's way more poseable than he looks. One problem right out the box. This hand doesn't hold the gun as good as I would like. You see how easy that fell out. There's like no peg holes or anything to peg into the hand, which is frustrating. This one is held in a lot better. And here's a major flaw when I go to transform that I'll show you. A major annoying flaw. <laughs> but anyway, his details are really good and he came out really, really well, like I just said. Here's a close-up on this guy's noggin. I really like the way the head came out. What I don't like, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, his eyes are like shades, but if they connect it in the center, I will probably like that. What I mean is they're three-dimensional. They protrude from his face, which is a bit weird looking in person. They're covered in metallic blue paint, and he has a lot of good paint. Where he does have paint, like this silver right there. Or gun metal. The yellow. This red is actually a different shade than the red plastic right there. His red paint there, silver there. I like his legs. 
and his feet. Here he is from the side. You can see his car mode sort of right there. Here he is from the back. You definitely see car cable or truck cable right there. And he has some smokestacks in the shoulders, just like Movie Optimus. I think Combino Wars Optimus has that too. We'll see when I bring him out for size comparison. He has soft ratchets in his ankle joints, which work amazingly well, on mines at least. But one thing I got to say about this guy, let me go to all the flaws. He's hollow. This thing feels extremely cheap i mean i've been collecting toys for a long time collecting transformers particularly since like about 1998 and this guy feels extremely cheap compared to what we've been getting for a figure this size everything's hollow like even the weapons just they feel like wafer thin but he's decent i don't want to talk about him too bad because he is decent but he definitely feels way cheaper than what I'm used to let's go into articulation well I said flaws what else can I think of it would have been lovely if they gave him wrist swivel uh, a leader class figure with no wrist swivel that's a nuisance like I said the gun has no pegs peg holes in his hands for the gun so that's a nuisance. The head, he has a good head rotation right there. I mean, it doesn't have to go 360 because a real person couldn't do that anyway. But this joint right here is scary as crap. It's like there's no extra joint to make that bend. When I'm doing this, I'm possibly breaking it. So watch out for that. I mean, you can kind of wiggle if you want to get him some upward movement but of course he has no neck now when you put minimus ambus in here which i'll show off right now that's the special feature with this guy open this up and instead of putting the matrix in there you have this console in there it even has like little screens right there a seat with handles screens over there with no sticker detail or paint take minimus ambus Put his arms down, put his legs out. Now you sit him in here. Put his legs out like this. Get in there. Bring his little hands down. You could try to put him on the yeah, you could put him on the little handles. Now you shut the head down. Shut this way, shut that. Bring this back up. And boom, now he's being controlled by Minimus Ambus. Problem, you can see Minimus Ambus' head if you turn Ultra Magnus' head. But you would have to be looking really, really hard to know what that is if you didn't already know what it is. If you look up, of course he's there peekaboo. Now, if you work with him, you can get him into some good poses, but this guy is begging for ankle pivot, which he doesn't have, and he has no waist. Uh, I really don't even see why he doesn't have a waist. I mean, they could have easily given him waist swivel right there. Maybe they changed their mind at the last minute. Normally, when a robot doesn't have waist swivel, it's a good reason, but there is no reason. So I can see customizers getting onto that real quick. His other articulation, he can move his arm, 360 right there. His shoulders can go outward due to this panel right here. If you take these off, they can go out even further, which is really awesome because I didn't even know about that. The first review I saw didn't even show that off. He has bicep swivel, a 90 degree bend in the elbow. Unlike Masterpiece version, which I haven't gotten yet. The hand opens, of course, as I showed. He has nice ratchets in the legs that definitely keep a pose. You don't even have to worry about that. They even ratchet out to the side. You don't have to worry about that. 
swivel right here. A friend of mine's this mushroom peg just the leg just pops off real easy. I have to try really hard to do mine and I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> he has a 90 degree bend in the knee and this ankle has a lot of play in it. You can put his feet back like that if you want or bring him out like this. And he has, like I said, some ratchets in that little joint. It's soft ratchets, but they stay very well. So, all in all, I'm very satisfied with this guy. He is way more posable than I ever imagined. And that's all I want in a Ultra Magnus that could transform without having a big Optimus Prime inside of him. <laughs> anyway, let's get some comparisons out here. Here he is with Leader Class Ultra Magnus from Animated. And don't let that short height fool you, because this guy is really beefy and thick and made out of good plastic. Don't pay attention to that horn missing right there, because I just recently broke that. Yeah. Here he is next to Leader Class Combiner Wars G1 Megatron. And you can see he's a little bit shorter. I would want Ultra Magnus to be taller than Megatron because he should be. But you can't win them all. Here he is next to Truck Monkey Prime. And a couple of deluxe figures. Before we get to transformation, I wanted to show you that you could aim his shoulders forward like this. Point these forward. And now he has some instant weapons if he's not holding his guns or if his guns get knocked out of his hand. Also, if you unplug these, make him fall. Take this gun right here. Get out the way. <laughs> Take this gun right here. Go ahead and plug these missile launchers or fake missiles to there. Take this rifle, go ahead and plug it here. Now he has a hammer. I guess you could put it that way if you want to make things explode once you hit the ground. Or you can do it like this if you want a blunt force weapon. Now you take his hand, open it, the slots are right here and there, you can go ahead and groove that into his arm flap and shut the hand. And now he has a sword, I mean a hammer, which I don't like. I wish he had a handle down here, but they had to make this G1 looking gun, which I guess it wouldn't have worked. So just like animated Magnus over there. He has a big hammer that he has to hold right at the the mallet part of it, which is, I don't like that. He can also hold it this way. And you can also spin this around if you don't want those the handles to be showing. Eh, it's cool, but I don't really like it so much because of the handle being so high. Anyway... Transformation, you're going to see a major, major flaw during the middle of this. Ugh, I don't know what to do about it, but I'm going to show you what I'm thinking about doing, which I might do. <laughs> anyway, take the arm flap right here, elongate that, cover his hand. Same thing over here. Go ahead and push this down. So now he has some big goofy scoop arms. Now we can open his chest, bring his head back. And be careful, like I said, don't press it more than it needs to be. Open this side, open this side, take Minimus out because he can't be in there because you need to do this. Bring the head down and bring that flap down. Now shut this, shut that. Go ahead and raise this. Spin this section around while you're lifting it over these pegs and peg that into place. Now we can leave that like that. 
Well, we bring the back down like that. Go ahead and lift this around like this and leave it in that position with the arm in that position. And now we get to this part. Bring this up to meet that side and I can't. Over here, there's a little groove. That groove holds his chest into place. And there's a little hole right there. So it boom, meets up. Over here, there's no little groove. The little groove is down there. Why? Because this shoulder piece is the exact same shoulder piece as over here. So that hole's down there. But on this side, is up there. So now, I'm going to have to break this on camera. On purpose, if I want to transform him correctly. And there we are. It's broken. Now I pegged that into there. And I'm sad. Smash that together. Okay, now he's still like that. He's a gear walk truck right now. <laughs> I guess you could turn his feet around if you wanted to. And make him a gear walk. Up, but let me stop playing around. With these legs, go ahead and start back here. You want to bring these out like that. Bring this out like this. Unpeg this from right there. Same thing over here. With the feet up into this groove right here flat and flush go ahead and pull this away and pull that down and meanwhile there is a little groove under here that that has to go into same thing over here lift the out Put it into the little groove. Now, go ahead and peg these together and lift the hips up. Actually, before you peg it together, this piece. You have to shove the chest piece into the slot right there and then force this side to go <laughs> in on over here. Now we can squeeze it together. These panels bend down and pegged right here. Same thing over here. Peg that over there. Now we peg the arms into the leg flaps or former leg flaps. And go ahead and close these what are now doors to the car carrier. Just squeeze everything, and you have Ultra Magnus in his car carry mode. But one thing you might want to do is elongate. Come on, slide. Okay, elongate that. So now he can actually turn around, and he has a good range of motion. Unfortunately, if he turns all the way, cars will fall out of there. <laughs> Let me get some cars in there now that I mentioned that. First off, Minimus, he fits excellently into this little groove right there. Here we see that this guy was built with Legends cars in mind. You lift down this gate, bring a fourth car in there, shut that up, which uh, detaches other parts. You have to fix them. But, yeah, he carries them nice and good. I'll have another car handy that I could have put there instead of Nemesis. But there's that. He can lower his arms here to accommodate cars going to the top, but they would bump into that. Which, so, I don't know. Let's see if that... Yeah, the elbows deep bend more, so I guess if you have monster truck tires, you can do that. Roll up there, so kids can have fun doing that. 
Here are a couple of deluxe cards and they go right in there nice and easy. I mean, while they're on there, you can only carry two at a time. If I put him all the way up here, I can fit Minimus Ambus right there. <laughs> Let me armor him all up in truck mode. Now I know this is mostly geared towards adult collectors, but this guy has a lot of play possibilities. And here's yet another one. You could take these parts, connect them right there, connect this right here, take the gun, plug it in right here. Unfortunately, he'll be shooting his missiles and blow itself up. <laughs> and you could take this peg right there. And plug it right there. Same deal unless you turn it this way. So now he's shooting behind him. And he has missiles for the front. So. Yay. Now of course mines has an issue. These don't exactly match. Since those are the same exact pieces. <sighs> but I doubt I'll have him in truck mode often. So. Hmm. I, I won't worry about that. So let's recap. I wish he had ankle pivot. He doesn't. His hands don't hold these guns nearly as tight as he needs to. The pins need to be tighter or something like that. Or he needs to have pegs in those handles. Didn't like that. Uh, neck is hollow, but mm, you can get around that. Minimus Ambus has minimal paint. And I do wish that he had elbows. If he had elbows and a neck, he would be awesome. Or more awesome than he is. Other than that, I love the paint that we did get on this Ultra Magnus figure. I mean, he looks and fits the part. That's Ultra Magnus. It can't be anybody else. He has a ton more posability than I ever imagined that he would, being all bulky and stocky as he is. Which is really, really good. And overall, I, I, I like his the things that you can do in his alt mode. It's amazing. Like, he has a lot of playability. To, like I said, like, this is definitely is geared towards adult collectors. But this is something I can see a child having tons of fun with. And if they have any imagination and if they know who this character is. Like, if a parent showed them the original movie or original cartoons and whatnot. But anywho, I don't regret my put purchase. I like him. His flaws I can get around. Now I do want to say one thing. The QA issue that I had with the arms. This guy is rampant with QA problems. Like you might get a forearm swap. Like you get two left forearms instead of a right and a left. Well you may not even have one of these weapons. So definitely look in the box and pay attention to that make sure you have everything in there before you make your purchase if you aren't online then you have to just get what you get and i ordered this online but i would have never known that that shoulder panel was swapped until i actually played with it which is frustrating and there's no way around that but i like it hopefully your figure will come out good honestly i could just ask for an exchange but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share, definitely share. Comment, T-Man 978, out of here.